This is a painter by the name of Vasily Kandinsky. And Kandinsky was um, a Russian-born painter. He was he was famous in the early 20th century for being sort of one of the pioneers of abstract art, at least in Western civilization. And something that's really interesting about Kandinsky, aside from his contributions to abstract art, was that he experienced a condition known as synesthesia. Synesthesia is this condition where certain senses can be sort of joined um, and, and linked. So when he heard music, he saw colors. And when he, when he was painting, he heard music, even if there was none playing. So color was really important to him. He focused a lot on color. And this is one of his famous um, color studies. And um, a study is something artists make that's sort of a practice round. It is something that they're sort of working out their ideas. It's not meant to be necessarily a finished piece. But this is a color study that people really love where he was focusing on sort of color harmonies and different color combinations in these concentric circles. And it made a very interesting and visual pleasing non-objective composition. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this learning and some of these ideas of Kandinsky's work and the structure and combinations of colors in concentric circles and apply it to make our own designs. Now for this project, what we're going to do is we're going to make a design, a representational image, any subject matter that you would like. But what I would like you to do is make a color study of concentric circles, sort of inspired by Kandinsky, inside of that design. So I decided to make a flying saucer. So I've got sort of concentric circles at the bottom. I'm going to lay out a grid on the side of the alien spaceship there. And I'm going to make concentric circle designs inside of there. I've got sort of concentric circles inside of the eye for my, for my alien. So I'm, I'm putting all these different concentric circle patterns inside of my design. And what I want to do is color it in using a variety of color combinations to sort of see the different color harmonies that can be created by using the same colors in different combinations. As I am coloring, I am using the same color in a few different spots in my composition. So I used each color like three or four times and then switched out to the next marker. Of course, you don't have to use markers. You can use, you know, markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you want to use is fine. But the big idea is I want you to be making a design with a color study in there, sort of inspired by Kandinsky. So I'm using pretty much all the colors in the rainbow, but I'm putting them in different spots of my composition. Again, using that strategy of using the same color about three or four times before I move on to the next, that helps me to make sure that I'm using those same colors in different areas. That helps to balance out the composition. Um, and, you know, it just makes it easier for me as I'm working. Now, after I've colored my flying saucer, I'm going to move on to coloring the, the alien. I'm thinking about, again, those color harmonies. What colors am I choosing to put into which area? Um, I'm going to use the same strategy for the concentric circles in the eye. I'm going to make you know, yellow, then orange, then red inside of that eye. I'm going to use the different little bits on the alien tentacles. And then for the, the bubble dome on my flying saucer, I'm just going to quickly color with crayons. For this project, I decided to take a little bit of a collage approach. So I cut out the flying saucer, and I am going to make my alien um, in outer space. So I'm going to make a few details for um, the outer space background. I'm, I'm going to make a big sort of concentric circle planet that's going to be running off the edge. I'm going to make a smaller sort of concentric circle planet that's going to be a little bit more off in the distance. Um, so I am just, again, using different colors for that co uh, color harmony in there. 
and then I'm going to use a separate sheet of paper. I first lay out the different elements to see where they're going to fit, make sure I get a good composition, and then I'm going to glue them onto my background. Of course, as I said, you don't have to do everything exactly like I did. You don't have to have aliens. You can have any subject matter you want. You don't have to be using uh, markers. You can use any materials you would like. And you do not have to um, cut and glue it. But what I do want to see is I do want to see a representational image, something that is recognizable with a color study of um, you know different color combinations of concentric circles within the design. Whether you do that on a flying saucer or an ear of corn, it's up to you. Any subject matter is fine, but make sure you are putting a color study, experimenting with different color combinations within your design.